Tyra, he's been, but should be a great game. And congratulations to George Tafua. He last played in round 17, 2020. I coached George in a city team. He's quite the character. And I'll tell you what, if he comes flying in, you'll know it. Here's Drone Hughes' headgear. Local artist from Sydney, Darren Dunn from out of Penrith. He's, uh, he's proud of that in the Maldi culture. It's the hammerhead shark, which is a symbol of strength, determination, courage, and power. If it goes down, it goes down fighting until the very last breath. So, very cool from Darren. Played a couple of games for Penrith in the first grade. Somebody's art is just incredible. Kieran Foran playing game number 250. You see him there on screen. And we are ready for action. Welcome to viewers right across the country, including those watching to us live in Melbourne tonight. Indigenous round is here. Turn your rock. And after a false start, we're about to be underway. The storm kicking off. First use of the football for the Manly Seagulls. And they'll be looking for a return to form. Well, both teams will be tonight. Two big competition points up for grabs. Jake Trebojevic with a run, taking it beyond the 20. One thing about Melbourne, they generally live for this fixture. This is the, the final fixture before the Origin Series gets underway. Holloway A with a hit up. Solid opening set so far for Manly. Olikawatu playing it just short of the halfway line. Good hands there from. Jake Trebojevic to pick, getting a pass away to Aloye, and they're inside Melbourne's territory on the last. Terry Evans puts in a kick. And Eremia taking that one. And a good chase too from Croker and Foran were there as well. I know a lot of people have spoken about the fact Manly will be without they have a lovely fullback, Tom Trebojevic, but they do go in with the confidence that Des Hasler is the only current coach that has a record without, that beats Craig Bellow. So he knows some secrets that a lot of others yeah, don't. Yeah, Over to you, Billy. Nice night for football down here in Victoria. It's a little bit crisp in the air, but... There's not a whole heap of wind about. A slight breeze behind Manly, just coming from the north, but it's a beautiful night here. There's a little bit of dew on the ground, so it's a firm surface. It's looking really well, Amy Park, but a little bit of dew, so it could be slippery underfoot. Early penalty to the storm, and they find touch on the halfway line. There's Tui Kamakamita. Solid defence there, too. Trebojevic, one of the defenders, uh, along with Sipley. Jerome Hughes goes here to Bromwich. Tries to wind up. Well handled, though, by Croker and Andrew Davey in there as well. Starting tonight, now Hughes gets a pass away. Meany, Justin Olam, looking to get through. Takes Daly Terry Evans on a piggyback ride. He's still going. How strong is he, Justin Olam? Goodness me. They're right on the front foot here, the Storm. Brandon Smith tries to go on his own. They're only a couple of metres away from the line. Kenny Bromwich going to dummy half. Centre of the ground, Munster drifting, passing to Hughes. He beats one. He's going to be wrapped up. 15 metres away, Andrew Davey with the important tackle. Now Munster putting in a kick. Here they come. It's batted back. This will be play on for Kafusi. And he's got there in the corner, Felice Kafusi with the first try of the night for the Melbourne Storm. Ooh, I don't know how confident he is. He got up, he had his poker face on. The nice play from the Storm. You can see already Jerome Hughes has got the attack humming along. Harvey Norman replay, nice kick. Munster gets up, Xavier Coates a target, knocks the ball backwards. Kafusi gets the ball. Does he get the ball down? Once he gets up the reaction. He had the ball in two hands, Freddie. And then he gets the ball in one hand. Yeah, that's a try by the look of it. He's done a great job there, Kafusi. It felt like an age he had to get to the try line. MG goes to the bunker. Hey, touchline, touchline under review. 
So it looks look, like the touch line's under review here. Yeah, it looked like he did a good job, but it seemed like an Clear all aspects of the play, just checking there, the George feet Fulham. of Felice Cafusi. The left boot of Felice Cafusi makes contact with the touch line. We have a decision. He needs to get with the outside backs when they jump in the air. What do you make of that, Billy? Yeah, well, Melbourne trying to use the athleticism of, of Xavier Coke, but it was actually Marion Seve that got his hand up to the ball, taps it back, and Felice Cafusi just... Couldn't get the ball down without staying in in, in the field that's in, no in the field, that's no but that's that line. slippery ground. You get close to this sideline, you're going to find yourself in touch. Penalty here for Manly. Great kick. Made 50 metres there. Holding on his foot. Oh, oh, Jesse, no, Jesse. on the front foot. Bailey <laughs> Terry Evans. Cameron on the green. Tackled there by Munster. Kemi Bronich in there as well. Now Croker, is Alloy A, is that a separate? It is, it's a clear one. Or was it a clear one? Oh, it was clear. Well, that's what Kieran Foran's saying. Why don't you just stop like everyone else does? He's a front row for it. See. Stay on. <laughs> there it is. Which Ken Munster, he actually got out of the road and put his hands up. With me, with me! Solid chair, solid chair! Hold it! So Hold Melbourne it. now on the back of that penalty can start this set of six inside Seagulls territory. Denied an early try, the Melbourne Storm. Here's Josh King. Having a good season for the Storm. Simply one of the defenders there for Manly. Smith to Hughes. There's Bromwich. Tuckle Andrew Davey again. He's had a couple of good defensive efforts early on as the Seagulls back row up. Now Munster. Meany goes short to Kenny Bromwich. He was well read by the Manly defence. Good tackle from Kohler. Meany. Late getting there to dummy half. Here's Brendan Smith. Cameron Munster showing it. Now going to Hughes who slips. He's tackled 19 metres away from the Manly line. Here's the last. Munster kicks back towards Xavier Coates. And this is a knock-on from Manly. It'll be a double knock-on. So, knock-on from the Sea Eagles. George Defua putting that one down. Well, you can see the game plan. Their kick plan on the last play. They're going to bomb away to George Tafua. And Xavier Coates is over there. He'd be another what, foot taller. Xavier so Coates is six foot four, six foot five. George Tafua, five ten. So they'll be bombing away at George. So Des has will have to come up with a plan there. We've got Morgan Harper out there in the centres. Maybe swap them around on the last play. Put Morgan Harper on the wing. Oh, well, George has got to catch. It. Here's Melbourne from the scrum. Munster dummies. He'll go on his own and score. All too easy there for Cameron Munster. That was too easy. That looked like a training gap. Munster gets the ball in space. And no one pulls the trigger better than him. Harvey Norman replay. He comes out. Please, I hope they're not going to look at the, the contact on Ruben Garrick there. They have a decoy going through. And Ruben Garrick just gets checked little bit they don't take advantage of that gap he gets on the outside and cherry evans and just the show and go in his space he did get checked so there's a good chance they will have a look at it the way he holds the ball in two hands it's just little dummies little dummies all the way along just deceiving the defense just trying to get cola to lay off and as he did he just accelerated past cherry evans well, if they're going to be consistent this is definitely a no try Ruben Garrett comes out. You see him breaking for the, the scrum. He just gets checked there. Yeah, well, so this will be a no try if they're going to be consistent. We'll go to Billy Slater on this one. I was just looking at the speed of Brendan Smith getting out. That it engages Ruben Garrick. He certainly gets checked by, by Nick Meaney. And whether he impacted the play, Cherry Evans was outside him. Does Ruben Garrick get to Cameron Munster or not? He was denied the chance, that's for sure. 
It's a try. The try's been confirmed. Seriously? Not even going to have a look at it. So it is a try to Cameron Munster because Nick Meany is about to convert the try. A few metres in from touch, Nick Meany to try to turn it into a six point lead for the Storm. Strikes it well, it's there. So try to Cameron Munster and Joey. I know it's left the scratching our heads here in the, the commentary box. I don't want to sound like a narc, but if you're going to be consistent for the last few years, that's a no try. Whether the, we're coming into the biggest period of the, the year, origin time, whether there's been a change or not, I don't know. But if you're going to be consistent, that was a no try. That was a dead set no try because Mooney checks the fullback there, Ruben Garrett. So that be a but, uh, no one will accuse you of being a narc. Here's Bromwich. Just inside Manly Territory. Here's the last. Jerome Hughes. It's a kick downfield to full underneath it, but Garrick calls him away from it. The fullback takes it for Manly before a good chase there from Melbourne. Tui Kamakamitha and Josh King leading that chase to full up. As Brad Fittler mentioned right on kickoff. First game in the NRL since round 17, 2020, had the ruptured Achilles tendon. Josh Alloy, three storm plays in there, including two bromages. And Brandon Smith as well. Sipley now reaches the halfway line for Manly. Broker to Boyevich goes short. He was looking at Foran, but went short to Davey. Well read by the Melbourne defence. Test here for Meany. Takes it well, and Morgan Harper takes him. He does well to get the ground, so he couldn't be dragging the touch on the slippery surface. A yeah, nice response from the Seagulls. Joke to Boyby's taking David to the line, crisp pass. And four and finished the set off with a nicely placed kick from Morgan Harper, the chaser. They just need to do that another 30 times. That's what you got to do when you compete with the storm. Slip the surface. Players slipping around everywhere out there at the moment. Very slippery. Brandon Smith. Good defensive set here from Manly. Melbourne kicking from just outside their own 30. Tafua lets that bounce. Better look out where the bounce is going. Xavier Coates had a play on it. He knocked it back. Kafusi gets a pass away. It's play on here for Melbourne. Look out. Marion Seve's got Coates on his inside. Doesn't pass to him. It's a good tackle in the end there from Tui Pilotu. Saves the day for Manly. He had too much time, Marion. Kick, pass, run. Seen injury in back play to Morgan Harper. He stayed down after the challenge. Where are the Manly game. players? There were store players everywhere. There were no Manly players. Marion, Please. kick it. Kick it. Pass it. <laughs> there's a Melbourne player everywhere. Josh Alloy for Manly. Broker picks up some good meters before Kamikamitha got to him. Now Ruben Garrick out of dummy half. Trying to catch a couple of those Melbourne Storm players offside. Here's the last. There's a crusher tackle here. They're appealing for. And rules on it. Kick from Daly Cherry Evans. Taken there by Xavier Coates. Use the dummy half. Oh, 
good defence. One thing you notice with the Manly defence compared to most other teams is they're quite happy just to have two in the tackle. More than any other team, Manly will just have two players in the tackle and release the third one back to the defensive line. Why would that be, Freddie? Why would they do that? I really don't know. Obviously, Des has a belief that maybe that third defender could be better used coming off the line quickly. But more than any other team, by far, they only have two defenders in the top. Hughes kicking on the last for Melbourne. Safur underneath it. He takes that one. Good chase there from Melbourne. Jesse Bromwich, Nick Meany wrapping up. George Defua. Morgan Harper now. Good to see that he's okay after picking up a knock. And now they're going to get a penalty here, the Seagulls. They've got to attack the right side of Melbourne. The last few weeks, the right side of Melbourne leaked a lot of points. And that's the side Morgan Harper. He'll be playing on that side with Cherry Evans. Cherry Evans gets some deception around where Marion Seven Sevy defends. Could be some joy there for Manly. I won't be daunted by playing at Amy Park, the Seagulls. They've won three of their last four games at the venue. In fact, their overall record at the ground is best of any away team. Like the Watu for Manly. Good opportunity for them here to hit back after conceding that early try. Jake Trebojevic, set restart as well. Full set of six. They're 31 metres away now, away from the Melbourne Storm line. Big chance. Boring gets a pass away. That's a good tackle down low. Hughes on Davey. Jerry Evans. Dummy in. Olakawatu. Tries to get away from the Storm defence, but Munster's there along with Kamakamita and Bromwich. And he's lost it. A mistake there, halfway through the set. Yep. Well, he had his arms all over Cam Munster. Where do you want it? But Ola Kawatu just needs to be stronger with the ball. I'm not sure why they come to the right-hand side. Here's Munster all over the ball. You've got to be better than that. Yeah, they come out of the right-hand side. It looked like Kieran Foran had that left-hand side retreating. And like Joe was Davey saying, get more than Harper. Davey went through. He got a leg stick. Played the ball quickly. If you do that, you've got to keep going the same way. Punch down the short side. Felice Cafusi. Tackle there by Bromwich and Aloye. Brandon Smith goes to Tui Kamakamita. Tackle Andrew Davey. Jerome Hughes goes short here to King. Two tackles left in this set for Melbourne. Bromwich to Hughes. Now Kafusi. Davey in there along with Kieran Foran. Tries to put some pressure on Hughes on the last look. It's a good kick away. And oh, they've let it bounce again here. It's going to land in the hands of Cameron Munster. The always dangerous second kick. Eremia gets it, can't get it down. Well, he did. <laughs> he did get it down. <laughs> Just outside the line. Middle play the ball. That was fantastic. I'm not sure what's going on here with the kick. Wait. Ruben Gary just pulls out. He says, no, I'm having nothing to do with that. The Munster just pulls the trigger on his favourite kick. Oh. Is it worth two? Kieran <laughs> <laughs> oh Foran going to Andrew Davey. Look at what Kamakamita and Jerome Hughes. Now simply to Alloy A. Josh Alloy A, the centre of Amy Park. Broker. Jerry Evans goes here to Cola. Good tackle, Justin Olam. He's a player, this young man, Cola. Defensively, he's been really strong. Really smart decision, decisions defending at centre. His technique defensively is really strong. 
We've seen some glimpses with the ball in hand. He's a player of huge potential. Now a penalty right to, to me. Melbourne coming out of their own ends. For the first time tonight, that Manly have conceded. While trying to keep the storm down their own end of the field. Down to you, Billy. Yeah, Pete, that's the second penalty that the Manly have given the Melbourne Storm coming out of this end of the field. The last time ended in points, so I want to defend this set. Yeah, one of the things to come out of the Parramatta game is just the discipline. The discipline lets him down at crucial stages. They've dropped the ball, now they've let him out of the penalty. You've got to build pressure against Melbourne, and you're just not going to compete. Jerome Hughes, Cameron Munster, looking busy, goes to Nick Meany, straight through Meany, he's got Eremia in support, Eremia comes on the inside, Meany can't find him, and Garrett makes the tackle, and the cavalry arrived. Someone was taken out. Yeah, Kohler was taken out, he was... Someone caught his foot tripped. Tui Kamakamitha now for Melbourne. They won't be able to go back and have a look at that because a couple of plays have gone. Brandon Smith, Cameron Munster goes short here to Kenny Bromwich and it's a fresh set of six now for Melbourne. Brandon Smith to Munster. And he stops because he thought there would have been an obstruction if he taken advantage. That's what Josh L.A. had to do. Hughes to King looking to wind up. Melbourne on the front foot. They're only a few metres away from the line. Halfway through the set. Smith to Hughes. Meany now. Thought about getting a pass away. He was spinning around. Eventually, Harper and Croker finish him off. Now, yeah, set and restart again. On him too long. This is pretty much three sets in a row now for Melbourne on Manly's line. Hughes playing it. Now Bromwich. Munster. Kenny Bromwich now. Shrugs away from one. Flick pass out the back to Cameron Munster. Munster throwing dummies. He'll look to straighten and go on his own, but he's going to be wrapped up. Davey with the tackle along with Aloye. Brandon Smith to dummy half. Goes to Jerome Hughes. Hughes to Gafusi. Great tackle, Kieran Ford. Stopped him in his tracks. Now Brandon Smith. Tackle there by Davey again. Two tackles left in this set. Kafusi, Hughes puts in a kick for Munster. Knocked back by Manly. They clean up. Good defence to see Eagles. Jake Trebojevic, Viper like reflexes. If we get a look at that. Neil Smith jumps out and puts a little chip through for Munster. Who was leading at the goalpost. It was Hughes. Here's Jake just puts the right hand out. Viper. Like a snake. Heard of the Viper ring. <laughs> We're always very critical of his fast twitch, Jake. This will give them some confidence, Manly. Great defensive effort from them. He's Alloy A. Tackled by Kamikamitha and Bromwich. Daly Cherry Evans, he loves a 40-20, but Xavier Coates gets back there, takes it on the full for Melbourne, and gets up over the 20 and beyond. That's a good kick return from Xavier Coates. Seven tries in his last six games at Amy Park. Ramia playing it. Now here's Justin Olam. Ola Kawatu with the tackle. Dylan Walker in there as well. Jesse Bromwich. Move, the trio of Storm forwards. Dolphins down next year. So we come Kamita. Good defence there on Kama Kamita. Walker and Olakawatu. Last play. Hughes. Another tester for George. Well, he took off before air traffic control gave him clearance there. Xavier Coates and Manley are able to clean up. Well, he did take an attic to the I suppose. <laughs> Here's a replay. George has gone up for the ball. And JB Coates just takes it down. 
They're made to work hard, but sometimes this is what turns a game around when a few things go against you. But they've got to hang in there. They made me very nervous that there another error isn't around the corner. It's got to get the ball down the other end. Well, let's take your sideline. Billy Slater got a very special guest for him in Indigenous Round in Greg Inglis. Take it away, Billy. That's right, Salty, down here with the great Greg Inglis. Greggy, you got to walk the, the Melbourne Storm out tonight. You're a proud Dungutty man. What's Indigenous Round mean to you? Oh, it means, uh, you know, it makes it even more special being down here and being um, invited back down by Craig and, and the club. And to lead the boys out, they asked me yesterday. Just to come up and ask me yesterday, and I was more than happy to, so... No, it means a lot, and yeah, I think this round should, um, should you should see a lot of flash football being played. <laughs> what have you made of this one so far? Oh, it's a tough, it's a tough contest, that's for sure. There's always going to be um, tough rivalries and tough games like this here between these two, with, the, with these two sides. All right, mate. Enjoy the footy. Thanks, Bill. Back to you, Pete. Thank you, Billy. And thanks to Greg Inglis. What a player, Greg Inglis was. Provided us with so many great highlights. The Melbourne Storm and South Sydney, Queensland and Australia. From all their set starts, they've worked the ball to their right. Melbourne opened up the field and attacked the gap between Cherry Evans and Cola. They had success from it, so they're going that way again. Jerome Hughes now for Melbourne. Goes inside that time to Tui Kamakamita. 25 away. Jesse Bromwich, Jerome Hughes. He let that one go, went behind him. Marion Seve's got it. And he's wrapped up. Andrew Davey again getting through a mountain of work in defence. A lot of traffic going down his way. Oh. <laughs> Broke up feeling the full brunt there of, of rampaging Brandon Smith. Here's the last. They're on to Jerome Hughes quickly. And that is good defence from Manly again. A changeover. Kieran Foran and Dylan Walker doing well. I don't think I'll be going low on Brandon Smith. He's got glutes of steel. He's so strong around the hips. You see here, Lachlan Croker goes low. Oof. Now that is a low center of gravity. Just saw Sean Kepi coming on the field for Manly. They're hanging in there, the Seagulls. Conceded that early try. The defence has held firm since. Here's a chance for them to attack. Ruben Garrick has got them backpedalling. George Defua gives a pass to Morgan Harper. Enterprising play from Manly. Defua to dummy half. They're still halfway through the set. Daly Terry Evans back down a short side by DCE. Tackle by his opposite number, Jerome Hughes. Defua, foreign. Putting in a kick. Ola Kawatu trying to put pressure on Munster. But Cameron Munster takes it well. That's the side of the field they go to attack. Manly go to their left. Sevi defensively has been quite brittle the last few weeks. Even then. Very tight to Jerome Hughes when they went that side. Considering how much ball the Storm have had. Storm have completed 13 from 13. 55% of possession and pretty much all the field position. He'd be happy, Des Hasler. Yeah, it's definitely not coming easy, the Storm attack. I think we're very used to the service of Harry Grant. Early kick. Straight down to Ruben Garrick. But yeah, it's not quite over. And sorry, Solden. Jerome Hughes, first game back in a while. Obviously missing Pappenhaus in the back. Smith and Big Nelson as well, some of the key figures. But I get nervous for Manly. If they don't come down and now nah, one of these kicks, get a restart. That last kick by four and just wasn't deep enough, wasn't high enough. Didn't give Olakawa to a chance to get over Munster. They're just wasting their time down there. Pappenhausen in the back of the coach's box there for the Melbourne Storm is Sean Kepi. And on the front foot here, Manly. And they capitalise. Walker throws a dummy. Not fallen for by the Melbourne defence. Gets up and plays it. Jerry Evans puts in a kick. It's a missed kick, and Meany's knocked it on. It'll be play on here for Manly. No, it won't be. They'll get a scrum, a scrum feed anyway. So yeah, the on. Seagulls starting to get some momentum. Yeah, nice Middle. play, Cherry Evans. It was a shocking kick, but he didn't give up on the play and competed. He was looking for the end goal, 
Didn't get much of the ball, but then goes hard at Mooney. Plays at the ball, and it spills. This will show it here. He goes hard at the slippery ball. Gets his arm in there. And it comes through. They get a big opportunity here, Manly. Middle field scrum. Best chance of the night for Manly. They feed the scrum and win it. Cherry Evans gets a pass away, and that's well read, though, by Jerome Hughes. They're on Morgan Harper. Kepi. Tackle by Kamakamita. Is it a juggle there? He maintained control of it. Big Kepi. Good work from him. Olakawatu gets a pass away. Garrick goes down. Munster with the tackle. He was right on Ruben Garrick. Now Sean Kepi. Good Melbourne Storm defence so far. Two tackles left in the set here for Manly. What can they deliver? Walk out of four, and that's good defence. It will be play on, will it? No, it went forward. It's been ruled four times first Manly. So it's not challengeable. No, because it's four. Well, they're really in the pass went forward. forward. Pass. A four and. Shot clock on. Seve comes flying in, cuts four and in half. Somehow manufactures a pass on the outside. Let's have a look at the ball. He's saying the ball went forward into Seve and then went backwards. In these conditions, they're just so hard to break down the Melbourne Storm in their defence. Molly, thank you. Hold the weight. Shot clock off. Hold there, Brandon. Hold in. Here you go. Break! And Melbourne. Through Justin Olam. It's a tight contest, Thursday night footy. We start off indigenous rounds. Dean Eremia. Fighting in the tackle. Kenny Bromwich. Hope you're enjoying this one, wherever you're watching. Right across Australia, including those watching us on Channel 9 in Melbourne tonight. Munster playing it. Go back and play it on the mark. Takes the ball a metre back and then plays it. Here's Kamakamita. Big Tui Kamakamita rumbling down the field. He'll be tackled 10 metres away from Manley's line. Now Melbourne through Munster. It's the last. Puts a beautiful kick in goal area. It's going to be taken there by Tui Pilotu. He's taken in goal and a repeat set coming for the Storm. Kamakamitha. Leg drive, high knees. Watch the big man here. Fans off, gets into space. Look at the leg drive. <laughs> Look at the signs of those legs. <laughs> Ruben Garrick would have been happy he got tackled from behind. And then Munster, just all class. Gets the ball in the end goal for a repeat. We're we going well. Here, no, man, he's, got, he's gone off to him. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's not arguing, is he? <laughs> oh, that's as good as it gets. John, you run. Drop out from Jerry Evans on the bounce. It goes to Hughes. He gives the pass away to King. And Melbourne looking to load up as we enter. The last 10 minutes of the half have been perfect with the ball. 16 from 16 completed sets for Melbourne. Man will be pretty good too. 10 from 13. But here comes Melbourne now through Hughes. Munster. Nice pass. Meany. He'll be wrapped up. Polo there along with Tui Pilotu. The hero. And now it's with Kenny Bromwich. And he's wrapped up by Olakawatu. Brendan Smith, Jerome Hughes, short ball, Kafusi, good tackle. Jake Chaboyevic doing well. Now Brandon Smith going to Jerome Hughes, inside pass. That is magnificent from the Melbourne Storm, and they're in. I think he only just came on the field. Chris Lewis, the Storm's second try of the night. Yeah, beautiful play. They went to the right. They got Kafusi one-on-one with a quick play of the ball. And then the creative players take over. Harvey Norman replay. Brandon Smith gets over, gets out. 
and gets the ball to Jerome Hughes and inside. Beautiful play. When Brandon Smith jumps out of dummy half, Sean Kepi comes off the line and overcommits. And when he throws the pass, the inside ball, just watch Kepi come off the try line, overcommits to Brandon Smith, and then Hughes just comes back at the defender, and Lewis scores next to the post. They just don't go up together. There's Kepi. Yeah, once he's out of the line, he's passed the ball. He's no use to anyone. And Ruben Garrick in these conditions, couldn't get his footing right. Chris Lewis with the Storm's second try of the night. He scores with his first touch of the ball. Nick Meaney from just off centre makes it 12-0 Melbourne. He's a good story. Chris Lewis played for a long time for the Sunshine Coast Falcons. Earned an opportunity to play in the NRL for Melbourne. They just they pick out these players Time you run. with great character who they know can work hard. And they put them around these superstars and they get a career ready. And you can, there's a list as long as you're on the players who they, they have got. Here's another one. Josh King from Newcastle. He's doing a great job down there. Recruiting on, not on talent. They haven't made a mistake yet, Melbourne. Been perfect with the ball. And here's their try scorer, Chris Lewis. Tackled by Ola Kawatu. Coming up at halftime, we'll have an update on a developing situation with Payne Haas and the Brisbane Broncos. So make sure you do not go anywhere. Tackle four. Time on. During half time tonight. Kafusi. Ten short of halfway. Here's the last. Hughes. Garrick underneath it for Manly. Six and a half minutes left in the half. Morgan Harper. He's wrapped up by Xavier Coates making the tackle. Now to Fua. Lameda short of the halfway line. Sean Kepi goes into Melbourne Territory. Good run from the interchange forward, Sean Kepi. Now Trebojevic goes to Foran, got players in motion. Morgan Harper, but he's well wrapped up. Last play, Cherry Evans kicks back towards that corner of the ground. Nick Meany takes it. They've kept him up high here. Can they force him back? They're going to, but the call of hell comes just in time for the Melbourne fullback. He was forced to kick back to the blind side, which was the go, merely a Loading up on their defence. It end up the play. I mean, he was isolated down the blind side. And if George had got his footing a bit early, he would have been in the end goal. Three tackles gone. They're on their own 10. Lewis playing it is Olam. Generally someone you want if you want to get yardage coming out. But he's wrapped up there by Cherry Evans. And Jake Dubois has the tackle as well. A 20-40 attempt there from Brandon Smith. But he doesn't get all of it. And George defoe has got it. Might be his last <laughs> of, his, of his career. Brandon Smith. Not his best. Kicking oh. loss, it's gone. It's burnt. Well, 
here's Tui Pilotu. David Middleton just said he kicked one last year, 24. Sorry, Sean Kepi now for Manly. Can they score late in the half? To get right back into it. For him, for Terry Evans. Holds it up beautifully for Olakawatu, but it's well read by Justin Olam. Garrick the dummy half. Kepi. For him. Here's it, Josh Schuster. Shrugs away from one. Holding the ball like a, like a marble in his right hand. Now here's Walker, throws it out the back. And is that knocked on there by Brandon Smith when he got to it? I think it was, this will be a manly scrum feed. You can challenge. With Schuster out there on that left side. Shot clock on. He's going to provide a lot of X factor on that side. He plays the second 5'8". One of his favorite plays, he goes to the line. You see the knock on there from Brandon Smith. Wants to go to the line using Morgan Harper as a decoy, and he'll play out the back to Ruben Garrick. Just watch out for that play. I think that might have hit Jake's hand. They dodged a bullet there. I wouldn't mind seeing Tolu Kohler with Josh Schuster getting a, some of that lightning speed on the end of those passes, just turning space into tries. And... Well, here they go. There's that man there in Kohler. He's strong, the youngster. He's wrapped up there by. Munster and Bromwich. Big chance here for the Seagulls. Late and a half, Kepi. Fresh set of six now. Set restart. Melbourne inside the 10. Broker to dummy half. Options both sides. Goes to left. It's with Walker. Goes to four and Garrick. They must go to Fuller. George to Fuller. Welcome back to the NRL. How good. The start of the game wasn't that fantastic where they're peppering him with bombs. But he gets the ball in a bit of space. He scores the first try for the Seagulls. Once again, it was his left-hand side on the Harvey Norman replay. Dylan Walker got rushed by Brandon Smith, but still went through with the pass. And that's what pulled the storm out of shape. Once he got the ball to the edge, Ruben and Gary and George Tafua did the rest. Dylan Walker playing a fantastic role through the middle as a runner and a ball player. Pulled the trigger on that pass. It turned out to be a winner for him. Yeah, nice play. Really nice play. This is the side of field they have to keep competing against. Just keep going down there with numbers. There's just no confidence in that side of the field. I thought he missed his assignment there, Xavier Coates. He had to be coming up quick and taking Garrick. See, so he came up and then backed off. Second guessed himself. Just gets a little bit lost there, Xavier Coates sometime. Whether he should come in or hold back. That time, close to the line. He had to rush Garrick. Well, those short passes to David, I didn't think of twice. He been throwing those passes for the whole first half. Garrick from the side. Just to make it the six-point deficit for Manly. There's some free advice there from the Storm crowd. Half a metre in from touch. It's not going to hold its line. Boost there for Manly, scoring just before half time. Have a look at this for a polite Stay on. Just the hand up, the left hand. The position of the yeah, just a little quiet one. I'm really hoping he was going to get it. Nothing like Parramatta booing, which we'll be looking at after the game and showing the comparison. Well, their first pass ball was Oh, they've been booing for a long time. <laughs> Last minute of the first half. Walker playing it for Manly. Jake Trebojevic getting a pass away and 
Another 10 short of halfway here, Manly, through Olakawatu. Chris Lewis, one of the defenders. He's one of the try scorers as well in this first half. Manly looking to shift here. Oh, oh. I don't think that was meant there for Josh Schuster. Well, one is too close to Kieran Foran. He's got to be wider and let Kieran bring the ball to him. Shot clock on. And then he's a bit late on the decoys. He's too close to Kieran Foran. He's got to be another three or four metres out. And look at his timings all out. This is where that line is, 20 metres in. That's where his starting point should be. Should be. And a player like Kieran Foran, he can skip across field. He's got to hold his width, which then stretches the defensive line. Can't stay too tight and crowd your ball players. 15 seconds to go. Melbourne. Right, right on the 40 metre line, Saldi. They go for a two point field goal here. Yeah, there's another, another option, really. For the Melbourne Storm, there always is other options. Here's a kick to four. He's got it covered. And then Xavier Coates tackles him. They did try to put a play on late in the half, but. George Tafua saves the day, and that is half time in a tough contest between two bitter rivals at the break. Melbourne Storm 12 leading the Seagulls 4. Billy Slater to you with Craig Bellamy. Well, Craig, you're ahead on the scoreboard. Were you happy with that first half? Yeah, we, yeah, we done a lot of the simple things well that we didn't do so well last week, so that was a real improvement. I thought we had a couple of chances to. Scored a couple of tries where we probably didn't quite ice it. So, um, but you know, I'm happy with the way, you know, their effort, their effort areas. So, um, hey, if we can keep that up the second half, and um, we'll see what happens. All right, I think you're running late, so I'll let you get up to the box, mate. <laughs> thanks, Billy, and thanks to Craig Bellamy. Well, last year and this year, Melbourne Storm have led at half time 25 times for 25 wins. They are perfect when leading after the 40 minutes. No, they're in a contest tonight because Manly, they're up for this one. Chris Lewis, one of the try scorers in the first half. Tackled by Sean Cappy down low. Josh Schuster up top. Nero thought about a offload there. To take the tackle. Here's the last, Jerome Hughes. Holds it downfield. Garrick takes it on the full for Manly. And a good kick return as well. 35 away from his own line. Taking the ball on his own 20. He's George Defua. Good see him back in the NRL. Dylan Walker now. Three storm plays in there. He throws it out the back and who's onto it first there, but Kenny Bromwich has it for Melbourne. It's a last minute offload there from Walker. Kenny Bromwich has dived on the ball on the first bounce for the Storm and now all of a sudden the home side is in good field position. Early in the second half. Lewis playing it. Hughes throws it dummy. The arrow was on his outside. Tackle there by Walker. Smith to Munster. Inside pass. King. He's going to be wrapped up. Broker and Kepi are there. Both are getting tangled up. Now Munster puts in a kick for Xavier Coates. Fly side takes and scores. Melbourne strike early in the second half. Geez, they can stick to a game plan. And you watch their first set of six just drove up through the middle. Hughes put a deep kick in, trying to edge it towards Tafua. And as Manly brought the ball out, Dylan Walker just couldn't help himself. Terry Evans is worrying about the next play. Kroger too far away. And on the Harvey Norman replay, Munster just comes in, puts a little dink in. There's his high jumper, Xavier Coates, up above the pack. Too good. We're going to get some players around him and help. Well, he's never going to compete with Xavier Coates, so you've got to get some players around. When the ball went up, Schuster just turns, doesn't chase. Even Ruben Garrick sprinted the threat, get across there just in case. One-on-one, -on -one, he's always going to get it. you just got to get there. 
just in case to clean up. Billy Slater. Well, the great players, they play play on play. And we saw in the first half, Jerome Hughes hit Felice Cavusi on the right-hand side and then doubled up on his play and hit Chris Lewis back on the inside. And you see Cameron Munster here. He plays to that, that short man on the right-hand side. And they lay that line. And then he backs up on his play. Just watch him communicate to his outside men. Gets on to his next job. He knows he's got a threatening winger with some height and, and great athleticism. He gets the ball up. Xavier Coates does the rest, but those great players, they play play on play. They don't set up for the next one. There's no time to warm into your footy, is there? They are instantly into their job, the Melbourne Storm. From their first set of six, they just knew exactly what they were doing. Everything's so professional. Everything hits the spot. One error, they pounce. I had the feeling in half time when Billy interviewed Cam Munster that he felt like something was coming. He could, they were getting into a groove. He looked pretty relaxed. One error. Nick Meany from out wide to convert the Xavier coach try. Eight tries in seven games now at Amy Park for Xavier Coates, and that is a very good kick from the sideline. Melbourne strike first early in the second half, leading now 18 points to four. Now, Indigenous round is a time for Rugby League to honour the importance of Indigenous culture on our game. We need to learn from history if we're to build a better future. Head to nrl.com slash Indigenous to learn more. Fusi playing it for Melbourne. Chris Lewis, 10 metres short of the halfway. Here's Jerome Hughes. And what about the bounce? This is taken. Ruben Garrick, he was flirting with danger there because it would have been a 40-20. Took an age to get onto it. Eventually he did. Now Manly have got to work hard coming out of their own end. Still inside their own 20. Tui Pilotu reaches the 20 and just beyond. Halfway through his set. Holder playing it. Kovojevic to four. Now Ruben Garrett tries to size up Jerome Hughes, but the Melbourne Storm halfback makes the tackle. Daly Cherry Evans. Kicks downfield. Drifting. Thought about a pass to Jeremia. Munster. Just for a run on his own. Always competing, Gary Munster. He's Dean Jeremia. What about that shot? Sean Kepi. Oh. Great technique, Kepi. Big man, he gets down low and cuts him in half. Trebojevic making that tackle. On the halfway line, Jerome Hughes, here they come. Sevi is tackled by Morgan Harper. Xavier Coates goes to dummy half, it's the last. Jerome Hughes put under pressure by Morgan Harper. Still got a kick away. Takes a clean catch at that one, throws it out the back. Here's Liero, puts in another kick for Marion Seve, can't get there! <laughs> that would have been spectacular from the Storm, creating something out of nothing. Looks like the ball hit a trampoline. He was all over it, Seve. <laughs> you could see the ball, his hands are on top of the ball, and all of a sudden it just kicked out of the ground. What were Manly doing here, I don't know. Walk, walk, walk. 
And then they finally put it through. Mooney was all over. Oh, oh, <laughs> Marion, you're attacking. You're not defending. I'm going to just hit a trampoline. <laughs> He's a falcon too, wasn't he? But Bell. once again, the ball goes up, and then the players around George Tafua are just all walking, wishing him good luck. You've got to get around, help him. Get some players around the ball. And Manly benefiting now from that penalty coming out of their own ends. Ola Kawatu. Tackle there by Munster and King. Broke it a dummy half. Dylan Walker, Dylan Foran, Ross Schuster. He's wrapped up, stands in the tackle. He made to play the ball. 30 metres away from the Melbourne line. And Terry Evans goes to Olakawatu, almost got through, but Justin Olam just grabs him and says, you're not going anywhere. That's with Broker, Walker, Foran. Tap on there from Garrick. Tafua's got it. And he's going to be wrapped up. Harper goes to Foran. Puts in a kick towards the post. Hits the upright and the crossbar. And it'll be battered dead. Here's the penalty. Escort. Felice. What has happened? Escort penalty. Escort. Does that hit someone's head and then come back off the crossbar? I need to see that. Lauren! Here we go. He nails it this time, Kieran Foran. Everyone's uncertain. It comes off Munster's head. Hits he goes the crossbar and goes back. <laughs> Here's Kepi. The manly hit back. Walker. Gets a pass away to Josh Schuster. He can't get away from Munster and Bromwich. Schuster will play it, they're 10 metres away. Now it's with Terry Evans, short to Olakawatu, and that was a strip with two in the tackle, was it? It was. He's his go-to man on the right side. Very, very rarely runs a decoy, Olakawatu. He's their go-to man. That's the second time he's been pulled out. He needs to focus on his ball control. He's a handful, isn't he? Kepi playing it a couple of metres away from the line. Now Walker. That's well, then we get Harper in the end. Could have gone anywhere. Bounced up favourably for him. Kieran Foran to dummy half. And that's with Walker. And he's tackled there by Liero he's and Smith. Up there. He's good to see. You see. Mm, that left knee's kind of strapping on him. Get up here, Dylan Walker. Let's have a look at it. Watching the left knee. A knee pack? It's a knee on knee? No. Oh, this one hits the ground. Turn here for the knee of Dylan Walker. And they're knocking on the door here, Manly. Well, they're showing plenty of resilience. Just the last couple of sets, their pass is just not out in front. Sort of taking away the opportunity to, to take the opportunities. He plays the ball, Dylan Walker. Now for Josh Schuster. And that has gone forward. Is that a Felton or Morgan Harper? I think it was. Flushing the head. Melbourne have got it. Wall came unstuck. That's the momentum. There it is. Bang. Off the board. The number one thing I've got taught as a halfback is don't move the ball sideways off a slow play the ball. So Dylan Walker down here. Was that about a minute and a half? Play the ball. Melbourne coming out of their own ends. 
Manning. What a pick up he's been for the Melbourne Storm. Bromwich playing it. Ryan Hughes. Thought about an early kick, but Manly rushed up on him, and now he goes into the Seagulls' territory, and it's the last tackle. Munster. Puts it high. <laughs> Here he is, George DeFuer takes it well. They're moving to the other side. <laughs> now they kick him to that side. That is just inhumane. <laughs> well, we'll see, Dean Eremia's got a good leap on him as well, so... Oh, poor old George. I believe Billy sent all the seagulls out here as well. We saw when the ball went over, all the seagulls were there. That's nasty, Billy. Broker, good yards from him. Out of dummy half. From inside the 40. And it's not a bad one. Oh, it's straightened up. It's a good attempt there from Kieran Foran. A yeah, nice kick. Very rarely kicks long, Kieran Foran. Stood up at that time, saw the angles and backed himself. Thought he was going to go over it. Just let's salt it. Straightened out. You just get the feeling that Manly, they get one try and a couple might come after, but they've got to worry about defence here. Justin Olam. And here's Dean Eremia. Last play here for the Storm. Jerome Hughes. Plenty of time to put that kick. High into the Melbourne night sky. There's a knock on. And a mistake there way. from Christian Tupolotu. Well, that time they looked at each other. Tui Pilotu and also Ruben Garrick. The ball will go in the air, and you watch they take their eyes off it and they look at each other, and he hesitates. He just cannot hesitate. But have that dominant voice. Billy Slater would know about that. Billy? No, I think the seagull called for that one. That was the seagull's <laughs> fault for sure. Ten seconds. From the start of the second half, they just have not put a foot wrong in the Melbourne Storm. They have a game plan, they just that execute. Was, that was 17 from 17. The first half. One start to Olam. Good tackle from Cola. Now Munster, Brandon Smith, Kenny Bromwich. Henley could pay the price now for not converting those chances they've had in the last few minutes. Munster to Hughes, good defence. And now Josh Schuster has it for Manly. And they'll get a penalty. He had a hold of his legs, and he come on. He had a hold of it. Here and four and up quickly there on Jerome Hughes. Yeah, it's one of those ones you'd like to put under your, under your armpit and just take the tackle and try to go through with the play. Oh, Terry Evans. They see the coal up. Oh, one on one strip. Cameron Munster's got it. He called everyone away from the tackle. And affected the one on one steal. They work on that one, Melbourne. And they perfected that strip that changes the course of the game yet again. Jesse Bromwich playing it for the Storm. Jerome Hughes. Here's Liero. Tackled by Schuster. Brendan Smith. Jerome Hughes thought about a dummy, goes himself. He's tackled there by Walker. Quick play the ball. Brandon Smith, Cameron Munster. He'll be put on his back. Simply one of the defenders for Manly. Nine away from the line. It's the last. Hughes. Here comes a kick. It's for Xavier Coates. Takes it, and then he'll be thrown into touch. A better work by Manly, they all work together. The men around the ball. Just got to hang in there, Manly. Just got to hang in. 
But they waited, they worked together. Kieran Foran was behind the ball just in case. No, George. Oh, George. They've got it again here, Melbourne. And Cameron Munster has been gifted a try, and Melbourne will go further in front. We well, thought they would have learned from the last set when he stripped the ball off young Tolu Kola. As soon as George was running the ball up, I just felt like he wasn't concentrating on the Harvey Norman replay. He just does it again. Just does it again. George just goes forward, not thinking. He calls everyone off, rips the ball out. Once again, there's no Manly players around to help out. Cameron Munster in again. That's his fifth one-on-one -on -one steal of the season. Cameron Munster. They still do tip sheets on players. It'll be in big bold letters. Cameron Munster, who will strip one-on-one, -on -one, hold on to the ball when he's around the tackle. Five for the year. Two in the last three minutes. I've got no words. Cameron Munster with the try. Now Nick Meany from right in front. He's had a couple of tough ones tonight. He's got three from three. He can make it four from four. Melbourne out to a 20 point lead now all of a sudden kickoff allowed to bounce Jerome Hughes has it no harm done there for Melbourne now Telstra is proud to be the naming right partner of the NRL Telstra Premiership for 21 consecutive years Felice Kafusi for the Melbourne Storm around the face there, Brandon Smith. Oh. <laughs> you just could not hurt him. Penalty to Melbourne. Like they're in the mood now, the Melbourne Storm. Dewey Kamakamita. His last touch was a line break in the first half. Gromitz <laughs> <laughs> to Munster. Here's Xavier Coates. Who threw the effects, Mike? Get him out, get him out. Like, couldn't he got himself to ground? Jesse Bromwich. Oh, there we go. One on one still for Sipley for Manly. He's very disappointed. Have a look at Jesse's face. He did a good job there. Sipley. Him and LAA in the tackle. Well, I'm going to say he's not going to get away with that. It looked like LAA was still in the tackle. Police, 
Croker. Jerry Evans. What about a pass to Garrett? But Garrett ended up being in front of him, and now he'll be forced back here. DCE. The arrow and Bromwich in the tackle. Sipley. Nine short of halfway. Last play here for Manly. Terry Evans from inside the 40. Taken here by Nick Meaney. Just watching Jake Trebrovich off the ball and just the work he does away from the ball, leading the speed of the defence line, the amount of times he cleans up this tackle. The lost Tom, if they lose Jake. Wow, this team will fall into a big, big hole. The work he does off the ball. He just tries his hard in. There he goes again. Brandon Smith having a rest. He's off. Nick Metney. He thought about an offload, but Olakawatu it was calling for the ball. Now Justin Olam. Goes to Cameron Munster. Jerome Hughes wanted the kick. He got it. He's been taken out. Has he? Or was it just a collision? It was just a... No, he was taken Change out. This line. could be 10 in the bin. Same as down, same as down the just other end. Just a penalty. Penalty to the Melbourne Storm. And a penalty every day of the week. He want? turns around, he didn't have the energy to chase the ball, but put out the arm and impeded Jerome Hughes. So we'll drop the shoulder. So Melbourne now through to Ikamakamita. He's tackled Tyron Wishart. The dummy half. Munster. Jesse Bromwich, she'll be hard to stop, and they do stop him. Kieran Foran did really well then. Wishart throws a dummy, goes on his own, he'll be stopped. Bromwich, Munster, Meany, here they come. It's Kenny Bromwich. Good tackle, Kohler again. Holland. Munster, now Wishart, the arrow, it's an offload away. Everyone's getting a touch here, it's a set restart as well, inside the 10, Manly. Kamakamitha playing it, 10 away from the line. Tyron Wishart, he'll be stopped five metres away from the goal line. 17 minutes left, Melbourne in front by 20. Jerome Hughes, tackled by Shustan. They thought about a one-on-one -on -one steal again, Shustan dropped off. Hughes holds onto it. Wishart to Munster. Kenny Romich looking to wind up. He stopped a metre short of the line. Tyron Wishart goes to Cameron Munster. Munster for the line, he's going to be stopped a metre short. He told to get up and play it. Olam, last play here for Melbourne. Wishart to Hughes, here we go again. A kick for Xavier Coates. I've got and he didn't know too well. much about it there. Just check. Tui Pilotu, it hits sure. him and goes dead. It's a dropout. Well, he's climbed up above Christian Tui Pilotu and it somehow come off the Manly player. Incorrect. Munster unlucky to not score a try on the other side of the field. Some sharp work by Wishart. Great an opportunity. Very close not to score. Might be doing well to hold out the Melbourne Storm this set of six. Short kick. It doesn't make it. Don't go ten. That we went one. Penalty here for Melbourne. There's a real technique for those short dropouts. And it's all about the ball drop. 
getting through the ball and the angles in which you kick it. That time, Cherry Evans' angles and the way he hits the ball and his shoulders where he hits the ball, it was totally out of line. It was tucked under the, the goalposts. He was trying to trick the Melbourne side. You don't really need to trick him. You just got to get it on the spot. Get it on the spot. Broussard going to Hughes. Plays in motion. Meany short ball. Kenny Bromwich dry. Nice play, Melbourne. And Kenny Bromwich extended, extends their advantage. Yeah, it's nice play. They draw the outside defence from Manly up. And it's a nice pass that gets him on the outside. Harvey Norman replay, watch his pass from Jerome Hughes. Uses Munster as a decoy. They go to the line there. Christian marks over the pass. But nice sets play there by the Melbourne Storm. Billy Slater. Yeah, he's been really good tonight, Nick Meany. He's been everywhere, heavily involved. And a beautiful pass there to Kenny Bromwich. But he's played a number of positions in this Melbourne Storm side. Played number six on the wing. Now he gets his chance at fullback. He's the Mr. Fixer at the moment, Nick Meany, and he's having a, a great season down in Melbourne. Hey, Billy, Kenny Bromwich, I believe, is going to the Dolphins as well. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. He's going up there with, with Jesse, his brother, and, and also Felice Cafusi. Do you have someone that can fit that mould? He's a great ball runner, as we've just seen. His timing then is beautiful. He also ball plays a little bit himself. Do you have someone that coming through of that mould? Oh, he's a, he's a footy player, Ken Bromwich. And uh, Trent Liero, he plays a little bit on the edge. He's playing in the middle at the moment, but he's he's an edge back row. Also, Chris Lewis. So uh, certainly going to be a hole in the Melbourne Storm team, losing the two Bromwich boys and Felice Cafusi next year. But they've just got a way of, of bringing through young talent. And I'm sure the Melbourne Storm have got something in plan. Player. Kenny Bromwich, and here is Nick Meany. Four from four tonight. He's having a good night with the boot. And until then, you're the best. That's Terry Evans. He's got a left foot. So you run. So 28 to 4. Melbourne in front of Manly. Here's Tui Kamakamita. He's been he got it again. He got him. Simply got him again. <laughs> Staring at it to disbelief. Well done from him. Terry Evans, just a quick hands away, and they can't reach the winger. A good tackle there on Cola from Miramia. Well, come that quick. Once again, Schuster showing the skill and the class. Croker to dummy half. Daly Terry Evans goes short here to Cola. Kamita makes the tackle. Broker. Jake Trebojevic. Kieran Foran in game 250. He'll set up a try here and it's a good finish. Out wide to Christian Tui Pilotu for Manly. It was all easy. Kieran Foran had a really good look at the defence there before he pulled the trigger on the Harbour Bridge pass. This time he got a little bit deeper than he was in the first half on the Harvey Norman replay. Simply Gets a one-on-one -on -one steal. LAA pulls out it, pulls away. And once again, Xavier Coates just in two minds. Kieran Ford had plenty of time to see what the defence, what they were thinking and what they were doing. And end up being an easier pass. Jake Trebojevic out the back. He's four and just watching Coates. Coates just turned his shoulders in the moment he did that over the top. It's a side, you've got to keep peppering that side. There's tries that side, just the inexperience. 
of Seve, but also Xavier Coates on the outside. He can get lost with his movements in, de in defence. Plenty of ball movement to that side. There's real chinks defensively that side for the, for the Storm. Once again, Jake Jaboyev, have a look at that pass. That keeps Jerome Hughes that little bit tight where he can't quite get to four and just sinks deep into the line. Which is four and all the time. Ruben Garrick from out wide. Not making any predictions on this kick. He struck it well, it won't come around. The greatest origin players break down the greatest origin stories. In the new Live Global Sports podcast, Stories of Origin. On my day off, I'd go in and take a row around. I'd do 300 metres under a minute on the rower, and then I'd go and goal kick. Stories of Origin, available now from wherever you want to They must listen to the or Stories of Origin podcast. Stay on. 28 points to eight. Melbourne in front of Manly. How many one on one strips have we had tonight? Two from each team. Four. Yeah. We think that's a record. It wasn't a confident nod from David Middleton, our statistician. He's more of a shrug of the shoulders. You see there in jersey number 20, Jordan Grant just coming on the field for. The Melbourne Storm. Indigenous player for the Storm. Family from Bathurst. So he's a proud Rogery man. George Rose from there, Freddie. He's from Bathurst originally. Originally. Uh, the family, well, the Roses are up around Walgut as well. Spiralling bomb. Taken very well there in the end by Nick Meaney. There is Jordan Grant. First game of the year for Jordan Grant. And that's with Munster. They're lining up for something here is Dean Eremia. Tries to get through, but he's taken there by Kohler. Wishart goes to Munster. Tackled by Daly Cherry Evans. Told to play it on the last. Jerome Hughes. It's in a kick. It's an unusual final play there for Melbourne. Taken there by Christian Tuipilotu. Marion Sevi makes the tackle along with Tui Kamakamita. Morgan Harper. Terry Evans. It's a pass away. And Manley looking for their third try of the night. They've got to come out of their own ends. Victor and Foran. On to Ruben Garrick pretty quickly. He's got a pass to Josh Trista. Easy pickings there in the end for Kenny Roberts down low. So we come at Kamitha and Tyrone Wishart in there as well. Now Croker. Under eight minutes remaining at Amy Park. Thursday night football. Daly Cherry Evans puts in a kick. And he was pulled out of it by. Xavier Coates. Hold him, hold him. with the tackle there on Coates. There's Des Hasler. Josh Cole. Oh, Josh. Do we get out of here? Elise Kafusi. There's Ryan Pappenhausen at the back of the Melbourne Storm coach's box. 
Beautiful ball movement here from the Storm. And okay, George. George. Oh, straight in on Justin Holland. <laughs> Dive here from Munster. Dived his ankles. In. Here's a contest. Ruben Garrick does well. Great take. <laughs> Instant the pass away to Kohler. I can't wait to see him. He's a player. Getting the clear Kohler. He's been excellent tonight. And the team that really struggling for go for every time he's got the ball he's looked dangerous but defensively he's made some great tackles Kurt the Lewis for Manly in jersey number 18 broke 45 tackles for the night there's a juggling act there from Andrew Davey he hung on to it well touched Jerome here's his hand but I think at that time it looked like Davey was going backwards He's claiming for a knock on. Kieran Ford, last tackle the ball. And Nick Manny was allowed to bounce. It's contagious. <laughs> Five and a half minutes left. Here's Kenny Brummett. Meany goes to dummy half. Jerome loses Justin Olam. Olakawatu with the tackle. Kieran Four in there as well. Your thoughts, Joey, on Jerome Hughes and what we've seen of him tonight? It's been solid. It's been difficult for the halves with the slippery conditions. His kicking game's been sound. He's got a couple of dips at him. Organised the team well. I thought in the first half, like, I think it ended up being 22 of 23. And you can see they'll just get trying to get used to each other. It was effective, but it wasn't great. And two, two sets into the second half, you can just see they found their rhythm. And all of a sudden, three tries later in 10 minutes, it's like going over. to Olakawatu. And Jerome Hughes is off for an early mark tonight. Kick here from Garrett. In the goal area, it's going to be too deep. Nick Meany has it for Melbourne. He's looking to play on quickly here. Xavier Coates. What an athlete. He is athletic, isn't he? Well, he was a great athlete too, going through high school, had a career in rugby league and a career in track and field to choose from. What high jump? High jump. High jump. Really good runner with a good runner as well. Now tomorrow night on Friday Night Footy, it's the Queensland Derby live from Suncorp Stadium. The Broncos take on the Titans here on your home of NRL Footy Nines. Wide world of sports. David Fafita back from injury tomorrow night for the Titans. And Kenny Bromwich. Couldn't get a pass there to Justin Olam. Brendan Smith to go back down the short side. Munster. He looks to go towards the centre of the ground. Drifting across field. Links up with Nick Meany. He'll be wrapped up. 20 metres away from... The Manly line. Brandon Smith. Oh, Olakawatu, what a take. That was a great take. Now he skips away for a couple of tackles. He's looking for support. That was almost our chance to see Kohler in open spaces. Oh, no. This is cramp, is it? Okay, Ash. Coming up to, coming up to zero. Melbourne captains challenge on field decision off a Melbourne hand for a knock on. No, you say knock on him, man. Just looked a little bit relaxed here. You First of the ball, I thought it was going to get knocked out. And, oh. Ball's off by touch. Harmoli Olakawatu. It touches the right hand of Chris Lewis. Just checking to see which direction it goes.
The ball goes forward, the challenge is unsuccessful. I couldn't believe we nearly got our dream then, seeing Kohler and Storm in negate. I saw him negate the play. Uh, Brendan Smith kicked the ball too. I thought it burnt his <laughs> kicking license. Brandon, it'll be a fine in the mail. <laughs> The challenge unsuccessful. Because oh, you said challenge a knock on. No, I said challenge a look on to. Yeah, did. You said they'll check. I've played on from that bit anyway. <laughs> Chris Lewis trying to argue the point. All right, so come you on, guys. Wrong, then. Time to go on when we go down. It's the wrong thing. He's hilarious. Oh, that's good. Felice, come on, mate. Come on. No, there's no clock. We're going now. Let's go. Head down. So come manly on. to feed the scrum. Eventually, Ruben Garrick, tackled by Munster. Lewis. Alloy A reaches the halfway line. It's been really good, Alloy A, this year. One of the best forwards. Schuster, nice hands, foreign. Harper. You can see the talent of Josh Schuster. It's endless. Some of his passing, the tempo in which he gets into the line. Here he goes again. It's, <laughs> but it's frightening the talent. But if he, if he can back that up with dedication, we could be looking at an incredible. Boren puts in a kick to Ibalotu underneath it. Oh, Xavier Coates takes it magnificently. He's got the ability to play with his feet really quick. Watch his tempo, Schuster. He'll go slow, then he goes quick. But his hands stay really soft. Quick feet, soft, slow hands. Incredibly hard to defend. Is that natural, Joey? That... Yeah, a lot of it's natural. This is one of those players you can see, he's just got that freaky skill. Jordan Grant went for a run. It's talked that next year with Kieran Foran moving to the Titans, that he'll play, he'll start the year at 5'8. Well, the 5'8 jersey's his. Yep. Knuckles down in the off season. If he's going to play 5'8, he'll have to get lighter and fitter. But some of his touches tonight, it's breathtaking. Marcus. The talent he has, passing, just how quick he can get into the Just line and he plays okay. so straight in the line, which holds up defenders. He's got so much talent. We look forward to seeing him develop. Oh, Andrew Davey, tackled by Jordan Grant. Morgan Harper, last play of the game. Ali Cherry Evans, Kieran Foran, here he is. Schuster, it's a pass away. Kohler, he passes it. Foran, Kieran Foran, Andrew Davey has it now. Manly entertaining us after the full time siren, but they put it down. And that is full time, the Melbourne Storm. Return to the winner's list. Two losses in a row, but tonight, too good for Manly. The home side, the Storm 28, have defeated the Seagulls 8.